in the dirt. Echeverria reads it and is out. Back foot. Echeverria says, look at the video. And we'll see if he's out or not. If the glove clipped him before he got there. Let's see which foot he uses. Oh. I don't know. That, that's a tough call for an umpire for sure. Because you've got legs going in, in different directions. And uh, the Marlins are going to challenge this. And why not? Good aggressive base running by Etch. See this different look though. You see that back leg swinging around. I can't tell right there where that glove makes contact with his leg. Well, you could tell on that one that he didn't touch him on the first swipe. Ooh. This is going to be tough. And you know what's in the balance here? Uh. The, the glove is just getting to the leg as you see the base react to the foot. It looks like it's simultaneous or right at the same time. Well, oh, that angle, he looks like he, the foot hit before the glove. That yeah, angle, he's, I think he's safe. He's safe. Yep. From that angle, it looks like he's safe. Because you can you can see the the pant leg react to the glove there. And the foot is off, has already been on the bag for uh, a few frames, shall we say. But you never know. It's got to be 100% to overturn the out call. That's the, the wild card in this. Stanton is at the plate. The count is three and two. And so you'd love to have Giancarlo get a chance to drive in a run here. Clear and concise evidence. It's Dan Iasonia who is the crew chief. Along with the Dale Scott. He's safe. safe. So the Marlins a successful challenge. Pat Shine down in the replay room. 